Thank you. Thank you very much. I have to tell you that I'm here um, for the wrong reasons. I'm supposed to be here to give you a whole lot of good information about something, about Ruby or the future or whatever it is. But that's not why I'm here. Today I'm here for me. Because I have been using Ruby now for eight years, and Ruby has made my life so much better that I really wanted to come to the home of Ruby and say thank you. And that's what this talk is about. Um, as I said, I started using Ruby uh, in 1999. I think it was 1.4 point something back then. The experience changed my life. I'm one of these people that likes programming languages. I guess a bit like Matt's, but I'm not as good as he is. And so I download languages all the time, and I try them, I play with them. And normally, when I download a language, I try it for an hour and say, no, this is the same as something else, or it's boring. I downloaded Ruby, and at lunchtime, I was still playing with it. In the evening, I was still playing with it. The next day, I didn't do any work, because I was still playing with it. <laughs> and I phoned up my, my partner, Andy, and said, you've got to try this. And so I corrupted my first person by getting him to try it too. And I think it's fair to say that I fell in love with Ruby. And as you do when you fall in love, we had to go and go the pill. <laughs> But this got me a little bit worried. It got my wife very worried. <laughs> Is it okay to fall in love with a piece of software? Is it a good thing to do? Of course. <laughs> so he knows, Tim knows, because Tim and I were both old people. I mean, when did you start programming? 77? 79, okay. So I beat you on that one, because my first commercial program was 1972. So, I was going to say, put your hand up if you were alive in 1972, but don't, because that would just depress me. Um, is it okay to love a software tool? I think it's more than okay. I think you have to love your software tools. Why? Because software is one of the most difficult things that people do. Writing software is really, really hard. And if you're going to spend your day writing software and do it well, you have to be in an environment that supports you, that loves you because otherwise you won't do a good job. Maybe look at this another way. Maybe you have children. I have two children. I have two boys, eight and 13. And if you have children, you love them, obviously. But I'll let you into a secret. They can be very difficult, <laughs> very frustrating. They're designed that way, I think. <laughs> they don't always do what you want. <laughs> Actually, that's wrong. They never do what you want. <laughs> and despite all this, you want them to do well. You want the best for them. And in many ways, children 
I like programming. Now, I don't, you know, I don't want to... Children are more important than programming. But in many ways, children are just like programming. Because programming is also difficult and frustrating. For many of the same reasons as children are. Programs often don't do what you want. I'm told. I mean, mine all work, but. Uh, but you still want them to do well, just like your children. So I think for the same reason that it's very hard to raise children, unless you love them. It's very hard to write good programs, unless you love what you're doing. The word I love is passion. You have to be passionate about what you do. You have to care about what you do. And I think that's what Ruby helps with. Because if you don't love your tools, if you don't work well with your tools, if your tools don't love you, it shows in your work. I'm a consultant, or at least I used to be a consultant, so I would go to see my customers, my clients, and they would show me their code and say, what's wrong with this code? Now, I never told them what was really wrong with the code. I'd say, oh, it's got bad design, it's got coupling, it's got this, it's got that. What was really wrong with the code was that their programmers hated their work, and they weren't caring enough to do a good job. And that's, in my opinion, what causes all of the problems that we see with code. Because if you don't love what you're doing, you take shortcuts. Oh, it doesn't matter if I do this badly. I don't care. It's not important to me. And so you don't do enough to make your programs good. Or worse, you get angry with your work. And you know that when you're angry, you make mistakes. So you have to love what you do. If you don't, it's just a job. It's not something you want to do. It's something you have to do. And if you are spending eight, nine, ten hours every single day of your life doing something, and you don't love it, what a waste of a life. You have to love what you do, because you only get one life to do it. So to do good work, you have to love your tools. And like I say, <laughs> I love Ruby. I even wrote some books about it. <laughs> I promise you, you have to love something to write a book about it. Mm. So, why? Why do I love Ruby? Well, that's very hard. Why do you love your wife, or your girlfriend, or your husband? You can't say. But let me, let me try and just give you some reasons why I, I love Ruby. 